Episode 114 Prom Queen Jane smiled triumphantly at Rita. Rita was furious. She picked up the cup of coffee beside her and gulped it down. Natalie scratched her head with an embarrassed look on her face. She kicked Rita under the table, signaling her not to offend Jane anymore. As a senior HR director, she had always been accurate in her judgment. Jane was not a person who should be provoked. Rita felt depressed. She could put on a smile for anyone, but not for this woman. When Ginny returned home, she was already exhausted. After taking a hot bath, she went to bed early. She had a dream. She was wearing a pure white wedding dress and walking on a red carpet with Peter. Under the clear blue sky, they read their vows to each other. Everything was romantic and beautiful. It was a nice dream. Meanwhile, Peter was coldly looking at Tom. Tom was unsettled by Peter's cold gaze. He gestured to Jake, who was sitting at his side, to save him. However, Jake had been so busy lately that he didn't want to move at all. If Peter had not asked him to call Tom, he would have been working overtime. It was hard being second generation rich, and even harder being third generation rich. Chairman Dawson, what did you call us here for? Jake wanted to show that he still valued their friendship. Peter only retracted his gaze when Tom was on the verge of collapsing. This was his preferred method of negotiation, to destroy the other party's psychological defenses. You graduated from Pineview, right? Peter asked, but his tone was filled with certainty. It was clear that he had already investigated. That's right. So why are you looking at me, Peter? Seeing Peter's menacing stare after being addressed casually by his first name, Tom immediately changed back to... Chairman Dawson. Do you know this person? Peter handed over a photo. Tom held it in his hand and looked at it. Isn't that prom queen? What? Peter looked at Tom in confusion, waiting for his explanation. Tom laughed. <laughs> All the students knew prom queen no matter which department they came from. Someone called her that, and the name stuck. You know how it is in university. Once a nickname sticks, it's hard to get rid of. I remember she was at Pineview on a scholarship. It's a pity she was expelled from the university for some reason after taking an exam. Chairman Dawson, why are you asking about her? Under Peter's increasingly cold gaze, Tom ended his rambling. If he hadn't been intimidated by Peter's expression, he would have kept on talking. After Jake heard Tom's description, he curiously looked at the photo and was instantly stunned. Isn't that Ginny? Jake looked at Peter in surprise. Then, a face of sympathy appeared in his eyes. He didn't expect that the woman that Peter had married had changed so much. And what was her nickname? Prom Queen. At this moment, Tom realized what he had told Peter. Why didn't he realize that this was Peter's wife, Ginny? What a small world. Do you know the details of why she was expelled? Peter had used some of his contacts to gain access to her files, but there wasn't anything there to go on. He could only ask the people who knew Ginny one by one. Tom was probably in the same exam room as Ginny at the time she was expelled. Tom frowned. He really didn't know much about Prom Queen. There wasn't anything out of the ordinary in that exam. At the time, I was very focused on the test and left the classroom after handing in the paper. At that moment, Prom Qu uh, Mrs. Dawson also came out. Afterward, 
She was accused of something by the administration and was expelled. Since then, I haven't seen her at all. So when I saw her now, I really didn't recognize her. The picture that you showed me doesn't look like her. Peter was puzzled. He definitely had to prove Ginny's innocence. However, so many years had passed since this incident. Do you suspect that Ginny was wrongly accused? It took a moment, but Jake was able to understand why Peter was asking all these questions. It's not a suspicion. I know it for a fact. He believed in Ginny, so he was sure that someone had intentionally framed her. Jake looked a bit sad. Previously, he suspected that Ginny was arranged by Fred Dawson, so he used to despise her. But later on, he realized that he had misjudged her. In fact, Jake had developed a soft spot for Ginny. Peter, you shouldn't try to do this on your own. We can help you. Tom nodded. Chairman Dawson, don't worry. Leave this matter to us. We'll definitely prove Ginny's innocence. Peter rubbed his forehead. Although the two of them didn't look reliable, he might as well let them give it a try. All right. I will continue to investigate. I'll wait for news from you two. After Peter said that, he waved his hand, showing them that they were free to leave. When they left, Peter looked at the time. It was already around 11 p.m. He accidentally clicked on the recording of Ginny and listened to it over and over again. It made him smile. Knowing that someone was waiting for him at home made him feel really good. <laughs>